So I think this is the ultimate setup for a uh, car radio. Simple and black, so it doesn't distract you at night time. Then, as you can see by the screen, I've got one, two, five icons, and I've got the GPS Test Plus. Click on that, it shows you all the GPS coordinates. Not that you need to know them, but what I've got that for, so I can see my speed, and all my passengers can see my speed as well. It goes nice and big. And then I've got the car media player, so anything that's on the USB stick, I can play that with ease. That's a Pioneer product. DAB Plus, don't really use it, but it's nice to have it there. Night screen, one touch, and then slide the bar along, and then the screen goes nice and dark at night. Like I said, I've got the black background. That does help quite a lot. Stop any glare that you get off of it while driving. Can be quite a distraction. Uh, and then I've got the Bluetooth, which I use all the time. And if you double tap, it takes you to the equalizer so I can easily adjust my audio accordingly. There isn't anything else that I can think of that I'd need while I'm driving. If I'm parked up, then I can go through all my other apps like my games. Um, if you've got a, a Bluetooth controller, you can play your games on the unit. I had Sonic on there once upon a time, so that was quite good fun. And if you've got DVDs, you can watch the DVD while you're parked up as well, but those aren't necessary apps that you need on the home screen while you're driving, that's why I haven't got them on my home screen. They're buried amongst everything else. But, um, my advice is not to download anything you don't need because these units don't have much storage, so storage is at a uh, premium. Is that the right word? Storage is rare. No, it doesn't sound right either. But anyway. Just don't download anything you don't need because you don't want to block it all up. Hey, you like this video? I recommend this launcher. It's called EV. It's not actually a car launcher. It's just an all launch that you can get on your mobile, but it seems to work quite well with the head unit. Um, the car media player is a pioneer product. The GPS Test Plus app was already on the system. You probably can download that some, from somewhere. Night screen, I downloaded that. That's real good to have. Uh, DAB Plus and the Bluetooth obviously come on the unit ready. I haven't got the radio on there because I've got a radio button. I haven't got uh, the maps button on there because well, I've got maps button to the left. DVD on the right, home on the right, back on the right. And that's pretty much it. Volume up and down, mute button. Everything I need is there on those five buttons. So this is like the best setup for me. And I've had my head unit for like two years. Might be longer actually. I did have a Pioneer App Radio 4, but if you've seen my other videos, you would I realised I got rid of that because it melted in the sun. So, yeah, I'm going to stop blabbering on and let you get back to whatever it is you're doing because I know a lot of people are so busy when they're on YouTube. Anyway, like my video, uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, hit the bell button if you haven't already, that will notify you of my up and coming videos. Blah, 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 blah.